Guten Tag, mein Name ist Andreas Dams. Hello, my name is Andreas Dams. I am a refrigeration and air conditioning engineer. Today I would like to show you how you can find and analyze leakages in refrigeration systems safely, unproblematically, and above all, reliably. I now switch the instrument on. The heat-up phase begins, which you can see by the flashing diodes here. During the heat-up phase, the sensor in the instrument is zeroed, which means it adapts to the environment. The instrument is now operational. If the instrument has not been used for a longer period, it is recommended that you test the functionality of the sensor. To do this, we use a test leak, which we bring up close to the sensor. The reaction of the sensor and the audible signals show that the instrument is working. Here I'm checking a potential leak site, a flare fitting. Everything's okay here. Pipes which don't have refrigerant flowing through them permanently are also a potential source of leaks. Here again, I move the sensors slowly and uniformly past the flare fittings. Here too, everything's tight. Here I'm checking the connection fittings on the compressor. Because of vibration, leakages are often found here. In this case, everything is fine. Freshly glued insulation hoses on refrigeration pipes can be sources of false interpretation. As you can see clearly here. Possible contamination of the sensors, such as here by this water drop, can seriously influence the sensitivity of the sensor. I continue to examine this valve for leaks and discover that we have a refrigerant leak somewhere here but which I can't yet locate exactly. To do this, I switch the instrument into low mode, and I can establish that right here at this place on the flare fitting, there is a leak. The leakage test I've just carried out with the Testo 316-3 has shown that it's possible to conduct a system test very efficiently, quickly and securely. That is good for your customer, for your operational security and your system availability, and you protect the environment while you're at it.